Good morning, I'm Alberto Polo, professor at the Rey Juan Carlos University of Madrid, and I'm here to present uh, the paper uh, A Friend to Represent Archaeology Heritage in an Open Source Virtual Reality Platform. First of all, uh, thank you to the conference organizers uh, for accepting this paper. I would like to start by apologizing for my English and my nerves. It is my first paper speaking English. My training is as an archaeologist and uh, in my learning and professional projects. I have worked in recent years with the use of three-dimensional models. Uh, these models uh, have been made mainly uh, through three-dimensional photogrammetry. And uh, in the last years, I use a lot with LiDAR uh, camera or uh, iPad. Uh, in this sense, uh, the paper I'm about to present is related to process to post-processing uh, of uh, those 3D models that massively <laughs> occupy uh, many gigabytes of information on the hard disks of uh, our computers. Um, the first use of 3D models for open science and for teaching in the university classroom uh, were directly with the corresponding uh, photogrammetry program or with Sketchfab. Uh, Sketchfab uh, provides a 3D model viewer by sitting with GL technology that uh, allows 3D model to, to be reproduced uh, on both uh, desktop and mobile web pages. Uh, however, uh, also it is a very interesting uh, space to work and interconnect with other researchers and students. I we found it to have a number of limitations. Uh, however, the contact with the professor uh, Jesus González Barahona, professor of informatics in, uh, in my university, uh, it made it possible to, to start working with web HTML and to be able to implement uh, another way uh, of showing 3D models uh, without having to, to rely on platform, uh, on platform uh, like Sketchfab or software like Unity. Uh, we create a workflow in an open um, workflow completely uh, made in a in open source uh, software. Specifically, uh, the software we will be meet uh, we will be using is a a frame, uh, which is a web framework that facilitates the creation of a virtual reality and augmented reality experience over the web. It's uh, particularly useful uh, for creating immersive content uh, with 3D models in a variety of contexts, including, um, uh, of course, archaeology. The main components that we can work with uh, in uh, a frame are entities and components. Uh, in a frame, uh, entities are the 3D objects on the state. Components are modules that can be attached to, to entities to, to provide them with a specific uh, functionality. Uh, we can use the object uh, OBG model component to load 3D models uh, in OBG uh, format and the GLTF uh, model component for models in GLTF format, uh, which is a widely used format on the web for 3D models. Among the main components are the ACIDs. Uh, a frame allows to, uh, to load external assets such uh, as 3D model, uh, sound, text, textures, uh, another uh, thing uh, via the asset tag. 
Uh, this allows uh, this allows you to sleep, manage uh, and reuse resources. Uh, other component is uh, camera. The camera is crucial to to virtual reality and augmented reality experience, um, and a frame provides the default camera, uh, which you can customize uh, to suit your or or need it. Um, interactivity and events um, is another component and this um, example we can make uh, our entities respond uh, to user event such as a uh, click and change in device position and it's very important uh, use the event set and recaster component to manage the the interactivity um, into the the scene. Uh, some of examples we are working with are as follows: uh, the necropolis and hermitage of San Nicolas. Uh, this example uh, has been created from uh, terrestrial photogrammetry and implemented in a frame from uh, HTML code. It is uh, hosted in GitLab. And the code and the components are open access. In this case, uh, the model has been uploaded to different plot platforms um, in order to compare the results in virtual and augmented uh, reality. Uh, if we look at the code, uh, the imagine of the, the image of the code. Uh, we can see the different components uh, of the credit SN. Uh, first of all, in the scripts. Uh, the scripts uh, that allow us to customize and automate it, uh, the elements of the SEN. As uh, for the SEN, uh, we, we see the gray background and we can customize with other color or with other uh, images. Uh, the type of rendering use it and the light correction uh, as well as the text messages uh, that accompany everything. Uh, the next uh, we find we find the, the assets uh, with uh, will, which will be the 3D model in deletive uh, format and uh, the next element uh, will be the textual links and the sounds that accompany the sound. Uh, finally, uh, in the code we can see the position uh, of the 3D model as well as the, the, sca the, the scale that has been assigned uh, to it. Uh, the option that a frame uh, allows to, to customize uh, a scene for use in archaeology are as follow. Uh, firstly, uh, archaeological, archaeological site uh, visualization. A frame uh, allows the, the creation of the three dimensional virtual environments that could be used to, to visualize uh, uh, archaeological sites uh, in a realistic way. Uh, way. Other option is <laughs> very important is the remote collaboration. Uh, um, uh, archaeological professionals often work in geographically uh, distributed teams. A friend uh, could uh, facilitate remote collaboration allowing experts from different locations to connect virtually and collaborate on the interpretation of uh, archaeological reminds. Um, other option, for example, documentation and analysis, a frame uh, could be used to create a virtual environment where archaeologists uh, can digitally uh, document uh, their finds and conduct more uh, the detailed uh, analysis. Uh, this could uh, include the ability uh, to overlay additional information uh, such as excavation data or interpretation directly into the virtual environment.
Augmented reality experience in physical psych, applications in archaeological disseminations. Uh, a frame also uh, supports augmented reality experience, meaning that uh, applications can be developed, uh, developed uh, that uh, overlay digital information on top of the real world. Uh, this could be useful in the archaeological files, like um, um, you can uh, see in the in the images of the of this presentation um, where I am working with uh, with the children and the oldest of uh, the 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 villas uh, where I am working in in the excavation of San Nicolas uh, settlement and uh, finally. Uh, it's very important for for us the the applications in education, uh, education and, and dissemination. Uh, in this case, Efrain uh, can be used to de develop, develop immersive educational experience uh, that allow students and the general public to virtually explore archaeological sites. This can uh, contribute to to uh, greater understanding uh, understanding of history and archaeology in a more accessible uh, way and uh, for us it's very very important uh, to work in in this uh, direction um, this 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 paper aims to present the this software in in growth and the possibilities uh, it offers for for archaeology. Uh, thank you very much for for your uh, for your attention. I hope you enjoy the the congress very much. Better better from from Spain.